Hello oh, and welcome back to Dot Hack Quarantine. I just got done doing a little virus core hunt. We have the three virus core J's that I need to get to the last location. I believe the last location. I'm gonna go check another server when we're back. Um, that one in the net slums people have recommended. And so we're we're gonna go there. We're bringing Gardenia and Sandro because they are the lowest level XP people. I gave Gardenia Grin's uh, spear. I think is what it's called. Yeah, Grim spear. So I wound up giving it to Gardenia over Nuke, even though Nuke kind of looks similar to Grim. Uh, Gardenia is one I think I use a little more often than Nuke. Duke also like shot up into uh, the experience dome because when we went to that one location that had a ton of guardians, him and was it Marlo? There was Marlo were with me and they just ridiculously shot up ahead. So she happened to be the first long arm I came across and she's the one who gets lucky with Krim's spear. And then that one sword that we found made in heaven, that's going to Sanjuro. That level 81 rare heavy blade weapon, Sandro. Anyways, without further ado, let's get in the game. Alright, so our word list, we want to go to Rotting Countless Sacrifice, a level 85 area with a darkness elemental. Oh, what did it say that it was? Area revealed by Doran. An inhabitant of Net Slum. I call them residents, they say inhabitants. I didn't check this beforehand, so I am very glad that I did have the exact fire scores that I needed. Hooray! Completed! Just drifting along, going to the next area. Ooh, there is a well here. Zoom out. They're weapons, by the way, too. They have strobe effects. Like Gardenia, the whole hilt staff thing is just like a bright red. <laughs> and then, uh, for Sandro, it just seems like the blade in itself is kind of like a yellow. But yeah, cool stuff. Alright, uh, let's go into items, and we are going to use our fairy's orb. Now, being that this is... God, look at the bunch. There's like four of them all bunched up over here. Being that we are a much higher level here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the one uh, field gate. And we're going to see what's behind it. And if it's something that's not going to give us a lot of experience, we're just going to move to the dungeon. It's a big boy. I groove! Uh, let's put him to sleep. I can't remember if I put him to sleep or if I paralyze him. I groove! So we're just going to go on back and forth until one comes up. It's put them to sleep. Just take them out. Ah, they get 50 experience for it. That's not so bad. So maybe we will go through and uh, see what else they have. I don't get a whole lot of experience for it because I'm like three levels higher than these guys. But they definitely could use the experience. So, I... We'll be back when we go to the spring. So, uh, see you at the spring. All right, to the spring. The spring. Uh, I'm going to throw in Miracle Twins, and I'm really going to hope that they don't uh, downgrade it. Dead. Neither. What? Neither one? Nope. Hmm. 
Let's see. Then is it this? Can't. Just between yes. us. There we go. With the weapon of this level, there's nothing I can do. I know, you're useless. Go to a level much more difficult and ask Grandpa. I will, and I'll let him know that his grandson's disappointment. In consolation, take this. Till next time, goodbye. And he's off. Silver Axe, Golden Axe, Purple Twins again. Beautiful. All right, so also, as it turns out, the Guardian is in this location. There was a portal by the mist that had the Guardian in it, and we fought that. So I'm gonna go clear all of these portals, and then we're gonna head to the dungeon. So, I'll see you in the dungeon. And here we are in the dungeon. I normally show you guys the last fight, but I decided to, eh. We'll just skip past it. Ferris Orb. Lots of Guardian fights out there. I did manage to get Gardenia in Sanjuro to level 90. I think they were 87 when they started, so now they're up to 90. I was 90 when I started, I'm up to 92. That's just through the field. We're still gonna run into Guardians in here somewhere. Like right here. Usually what I do is I separate myself from my party members. And I hit them with some magic. Data break, data drain them. Blue line. And then I go into being the best of the uh, support characters. completely off so where they would normally have been leveling up together side by side <laughs> uh, see Sandro's off he's off one fight uh, also when I do strengthen redeem. they both have regime so they can just redeem themselves you can go off and just redeem themselves get that SP back let's go over here to this dead end room there's another fight in here. I'm hoping I don't get like data drain sickness from the Guardian. Because the only way that you get those better experience points is from uh, data drain. Get him into the ring thing. It's really difficult. Uh, let us put the big guy to sleep. And then I'll just run up on him. Run up on him. Just start swinging. Just start swinging. The bloody egg. Bloody egg. Uh, 
I want to play a Ouija board. Not allowed man from the house to be able to do it. There's a lot of stories of people getting messed up playing Ouija boards. Down to the second floor. Uh, items. Let's get ourselves for a resort. I wasn't gonna say fortune wire. I knew what I was gonna say. What do we got? We fighting. Oh, charmers. Charmers are sweet. They do sleepies. Put them to sleepy. Put them to sleepy. Oh no, oh no. They managed to charm Gardenia before I put them to sleepy. Short floor. Whip. Stealth blades back. Oh, these, days. Oh, these ones I want a data drain too. Don't need that. Just, I get all this stuff just to sell. Just to have all this money, and I gotta remember, stock everything up to 99 before I leave. Fair as well. A pretty cool and weird looking pattern. Should I just go first? Oh my god. Oh, the, the charmers to sleep. Virtual masters, that's what they're called. Gob machine and virtual masters out here. Gob machines, gob machines are Tempest! But these snake charmers gotta go. They just kill them. Oh no, the charmer. Ah, uh, Mel. Where's Dave? Where's 
Just a come on. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Be back to First day. Come on, Gardenia. Oh, Jesus. I was gonna lose right there. She's oh no, she's charmed again. Give her that staff. Now she's just super strong. Oh, that's right. I don't have any SP. Ever so. Charm. Intensity went straight to my nipples. It's crazy. Oh boy, a treasure. I wonder what wonderful things I'm going to find inside of this treasure. Don't care to open all the treasure boxes. No need to go to all the different ones. And then I'm gonna go back and like, read the walkthrough where it's gonna say there's a hidden rare item in one of the treasures around here. Right, might as well detour over here and just pick up this little stuff. Getting these spells that I'm not gonna use. There's been five in all the other ones. And this one may just be the same. Bloody egg! Yeah, you are. Bloody egg! Sure am. Sure am. It's a moth. Everyone who's received is on it. I need to change my equipment. I must steal the blades. Shall weaken it with a paralyzed? Nope. Oh, it's a blue worm. It's a dragon. I'm gonna move away from all of you. Kill them, not me. Okay. There we go. Sleep. floors seem to have their own little hideaway room. That could have had possible virus cores in it. Only till the fourth floor. All those healing soaps. Using soap.
Iris Core J's seem to be like the most toughest ones. I think that's mainly because most of the levels I go to seem to have more larger monsters than they do smaller ones. So we run into the maidens. Or the goblins. Get a data drain. Get a data drain of good. Love that design on Sandro's sword. an item to wake you up. Also, only one guardian fights. Actually, does look like the. Hey. Oh. What? Oh. Looks like the last floor. So they can see a god statue further up. Oh, no, both of them go. That's Tempest! Gonna data drain. But nope. Was quick enough. Those guys, too, to get their data break is like right there. They gotta have like a quarter of their life left.
Alright, let's see what else we got. The blue worm. Clear the uh, dungeon out before we go get our god statue prize. What do we got? Alright, what else we got? Oh, charm.
Here we go, might get a good item inside here. Spear Core Mark Three. Vessel of Sky. Golem parts. Vessel of Sky and Golem parts are good sales things. Uh, let's see what we got with the other thing though. The Sun Fang that was from the Guardian. Spear Core Mach 3 is a level 80 weapon for a long arm. I think uh, Krin's spear is 81. Comes with skill drain. We get a water attack, level 3 water attack, another level 3 water attack, and another level 3 water attack. Just a big old water lance. Let's see. Gardenia, Crims. Yeah, it's level 80. So she's gonna stay rocking that. And if I ever put Nuke back in the party, he can have that one. Bam, there we go. We completed this. We can leave. We don't have to be here anymore. So, Sprite, Ocarina. Didn't want to go check one thing before I ended. I'm gonna go save it too. We might have new mail. No? Okay. We're gonna go to the uh, other server. Because I believe maybe there's one more location. That location is located in the previous server. Oh, there's actually a couple locations. One back in uh, Makanu. Let's go check Makanu. What's the deal over here? The aqua capital of Makanu. Well, hello there. You're going to see Harold. All right. Yeah. I'm going too, okay? Sure. I've got to ask him myself what he was trying to do and why this happened. <laughs> so it was kind of like a, it was really much of a question. Uh, wordless there means that there's two places. Oh no, it's just this one place. Area revealed by Tartarug, an inhabitant of Netslum. Wandering AI Harold headed here. So yeah, I guess we are supposed to go to this one. Uh, let's see what the other server is in store for us. Because I know on the Omega server, it's just a goblin race. Goblin little tag event that I am just procrastinating doing. And then what is going on here? Freezing Sage's Walkway. Area invited by Moonstone. Oh, okay. This is just a, a Moonstone side quest. It's a level 85. Alright. Should I do that one then? I guess this will be the next one we come into is Freezing Sage's Walkway. I must have held off on doing that because my level wasn't that high. Uh, now we can definitely just breeze through it. We can we can breeze through breezing Sage's walkway. And uh, I'll bring Moonstone along with me the next time that we do that. So hey, there you go. How's that? You liked it? Did you like it? Did you have a good time? Was this fun for you? I hope so. Yeah, that will do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Dot Hack. Warranty. Goodbye.